he was badge and ticketed, and fell into his place at once, the orphan of a workhouse. Years later, Oliver Twist's ninth birthday found him a pale thin child, somewhat diminutive in nature. Bloody hell! Where did you come from? Who are you? Well, I'm Mr. Bumble, and I've come here to make sure you're educated. Educated? Where? Why, at Hogwarts, of course. You're a wizard, Oliver. Just like I am. Prove it. <coughs> With his wand in hand, and his bags packed, Oliver boarded the train and made his way to Hogwarts. <coughs> Oliver arrived at the Great Hall, amazed at the brilliant sight that greeted him. O Oliver took his place and watched as the gruel was served out. The gruel disappeared. Child as he was, he was desperate with hunger. Please sir, can I have some more? What? More? For goodness sake, you're a wizard. Just wave your wand. <laughs> Hello my covey, what's the row? Excuse me. Sorry for mumbling, I'm eating popcorn. I am Jack Dawkins, but you can call me Dodger. Got a roommate? No I don't. My name is Oliver. Oliver Twist. Cool, we can share. Let me introduce you to our respectable gentleman. This is him Fagin, my friend Oliver Twist. We are very glad to see you Oliver. Very much indeed. Now I want you to do something for me. It's really simple. We are your family now Oliver. <laughs> so in the middle of the night, while all were asleep, Oliver crept down from his room. Though he tried his best to remember Dodger's directions, he got lost and found himself at the library. There are a good many books, are there not? A great number, I never saw so many. I heard that you are an orphan, without a friend in the world. Let me hear your story, where you come from, who brought you up, and how you got into the company you have now. Looking into the man's kind eyes, Oliver felt his tears run down his cheeks. Then he began to tell his story to the man he now knew as Mr. Brownlow. The very next day, Oliver found himself cornered by Fidgin, Bill and Nancy in the corridor. Where is it, Oliver? Where is the thing I asked you to get for me? I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Stealing is wrong, Mr. Brownlow helped me to see that. It's only wrong, if you get caught. You're gonna get it for us, whether you want to or not. Please have mercy on me. Do what you want to me, but don't make me steal. If you don't do it, I'll put the killing curse on you. Don't do it, Bill. He'll die. You'd have to kill me first. No. My father. But where have you been all these years? Filming an installment of movies. Kept me quite busy. But now that I know about you, I want to leave you an inheritance. What a happy day for Oliver. He found out that he was not an orphan and he had money. He threw a big party at Hogwarts for his new friends. And so the days passed quite contently for Oliver, all was well indeed. <laughs>